Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Napier once again got another good tip for you, ladies and gentlemen. Got plenty of them, lots of them. Here's one that's personal dear to my heart because it, it had a grave effect over me when I first came into the business. So I wanted to take time to share this with you guys who may be experiencing information overload. That's correct. When I first got in, and I was trying to learn my way around the internet. I kept getting hit with this and that. You gotta, you gotta learn Facebook, you gotta learn YouTube, you gotta learn article marketing, blogging, and the list kept going on and on and I kept sitting down trying to figure out which one of these things was I gonna tackle? Which one did I think I was good at? And I just kept going on and on, I just kept trying to do everything and I kept frustrating myself, frustrating my family, Finally, I start listening to my coach and mentor, Mr. Cedric Harris, and he said to me, Greg, just pick a couple things that you feel comfortable with. Master those before you go on to the next. So what I did is I signed up for Facebook. I got me a video camera. I start perusing around Facebook. I'm not quite a master of Facebook right now, but I'm still, I'm still work in progress. I am becoming a master at video marketing. He told me another thing. He said, if you don't shoot any videos, you won't make any money. You need to be everywhere all the time. And, that, and I set a goal out to shoot two videos per day. And that's helping me. So what I'm trying to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just share this nugget for you out there for the for the brand new people. Because most of the experienced internet marketers know this, that you can't just try to do everything at once. You need to become a master at one or two things, hone in those skills, and then move on to the next. But a lot of times people get in, they, they want to make this quick money real fast. No, what you have to do is establish a presence so you don't create, again, information overload. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, look for me for another great tip in the future because I have lots of them and I am so willing to share.